Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. I haven't done a Q&A in over two years and I hadn't really done any Instagram stories before. So, so I did my first story and asked you guys to submit some questions. I'm gonna divide this up into a few different videos so I can get through most of them and not have like a two hour long video. If it works out, we'll do other ones. So subscribe to Instagram and do that thing. Oh, and subscribe and like this. So first question from Daily Cuber, which would it take longer, solving a two by two or answering this question? Landon Bassard asks, favorite cube ever made? That's a hard decision, but I think I might say the four by four from Twisty Text because it's very different and it was handmade or hand modified. So that one. A.N. George asks, what's your second favorite event? Well, that's implying you know what my favorite event is, but I would say my second favorite is four by four. BSM Cuber asks, don't answer this question. Benjamin LP asks, when did you start to cube? So I started cubing at the 40th anniversary uh, when there was a Google Doodle which got me into cubing, main three by three. A lot of people ask this, I don't have a main. I always pick up random cubes. Last competition I did, I used the GAN 356X which if I do use it, I won't be using the numerical IPG. I'll be using the new one with the V5 that I got in. And before that, I used the GTS-3. Michael121boy asks, what's your opinion on how he cubing world has evolved? Do you think was for the better? Well, the cubing world has evolved greatly in the past four or five years. It's really exploded and for a good way. I feel like it's becoming more and more professional as well, which is usually for the best. Miss L asks, What's your 3x3 PB? I don't know. I stopped keeping track of it. I have a good idea what it might be, but I don't really know my average for sure. And my single, even if I did remember or figure it out, I don't usually share that because people put way too much interest in their PBs. FD Cubing asks, what's your worst experience at a comp? There's a competition I did right after I DJed and I was completely exhausted. I was DJing until one in the morning and then I had to pack up my gear, got to hotel at 2 a.m., had to wake up early and drive to the competition. Half through the comp, I left. I was just so tired I couldn't even focus, which made it worse that I was also supposed to be on staff. So luckily they were nice enough to let me go. Twy B asks, favorite PLL, OLL, and F2L algs? PLL, OLL. Itsumetric asks, what's your square one main? <laughs> I don't do square one. Ethan is a hearty asks, how many pillowed cubes do you have? V6. Mori 7x7, 13x13, and a couple from YJ. Sam22055, Yushin, Little Magic, Mofeng, Zhaoshi, MF3RS. Yes. Do we bestling asks, ever thought about stopping with cubing? Not really. It's not, a, it's not a something that's really taken up time. I can cut back, which I do when I have school, and I can pick it back up. I don't ever see a reason to stop something entirely, ever. Hudson101 asks, stickerless or stickers? I use both, I switch them up all the time, and I purposely switch them up so I don't get used to one and struggle on another one. As a man rocks asks, why do you think the populator of cubing is growing so much? I think it has to do with one, just it becoming in the news again with the 40th anniversary, because it seems to really have taken off from there, and the internet. It's a lot easier for people to communicate, for forums, things on Reddit, things all over the place. Everyone's able to find out about this sort of thing. So people see a Rubik's Cube or I see someone else doing it, pick it up, and then suddenly find there's this big community. I'm really big on making sure the community is a professional or welcoming environment, not because I want to be really angry about people having fun, but more I want people who are starting out to not feel afraid to jump into it, not feel intimidated by asking what might be simple questions and get laughed at or get silly responses. So I think it's growing because the community is growing and the bigger that gets, the more inviting and the more helpful it is for other people. So thank you very much. I have a lot of other questions I'll be answering in other Q and A's in the future. I do see all the comments down below, but I probably won't include those in other Q and A's. It'll just be ones from Instagram before. Like I said, hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.